Hello, my name is Blazely Dragon, and I am doing this in response to my holistic health and healing video, uh, since it seemed to be pretty much, I don't know, I guess popular, had a few hits, I figured I would continue and expand on one of the techniques called Etheric Touch uh, with holistic healing, and I, as I had mentioned that there's numerous forms such as Reiki, quantum vibrational healing, theta healing, Etheric touch, of course, and acupressure, acupressure, acupuncture. Um, there's there's various forms, and some of the forms, such as acupuncture, requires needles. Acupressure requires schooling to know the different muscle groups and where to touch someone when doing the pressure. And if you don't do it right, it can be actually very harmful. Um, then, of course, with Reiki, you need to get what's called attunements, which is where you align your chakra and energy centers to receive the energy. Uh, with Fate of Healing, that's one that would actually be decent to go over in a one video. Uh, for right now, though, I'm going to focus with Ether Touch. It's the most uh, primitive and instinctual form of holistic health. Um, everybody can do it. Uh, what it is is usually there are ways to enhance your holistic healing. You can do different breathing techniques, meditation, and then, of course, before you do any healing, it's always a good idea to scan the person which is a technique in itself. Uh, the basic idea behind scanning is usually you'll take one of your hands, whether that be your receptive hand, which usually will be the hands you don't write with. So if you write with your right hand, it's considered your output hand, your uh, power hand, and then your other hand would be, of course, your receptive hand or your receiving one. You can do it with either hand. Um, but usually if you hold your hand over the, uh, the client or the person you're healing, if you hold it two or three inches away from them and you slowly go over the body. As an example, if I was to go over my own arm and I was scanning my arm, I would hold it about so far away and I would just slowly go over the arm. Now the object is to really pay attention to the subtle bodies, the energies and the influctuation of energy. Uh, if somebody is ill or has an issue, whether it be a sprained ankle, broken bone, etc., you are going to feel an alteration, a change in the vibrations. Uh, it's very subtle. That's why they're called subtle bodies. It's very minute and you really have to pay attention to the shift. It's almost like a temperature change, a uh, tingling feeling, a sensation, um, a heaviness, a warmth, a coolness. Uh, but you'll notice a difference, you know, in the area of the body. If the client can tell you, that's more, more power to them, and in this way, you don't have to necessarily scan, but it's always a good idea to scan and get an idea. Or if they say, hey, my shoulder's bothering me. Well, if you scan the shoulder and feel the type of damage that was caused, you can feel the way it's vibrating. Now, in order to balance that out, there's, of course, different methods that you can use with color, sound, chakra balancing. There's different ways to help balance and help to correct the dis-ease and uh, the etheric touches method is basically with any energy work all energy is going to follow thought so what you're going to do is you're going to have your body send vibrations or waves to help balance out that energy so if we're using as an example if somebody has something that's inflamed let's say a kidney is inflamed usually what I'll sense when I do a scanning is it'll feel very heavy and it will feel very warm. It'll be, it'll have an expansive feeling. This is also known as a yang energy. It'll expand, okay? Now, the way that you would balance that is with its opposite. So, different things that are gonna be associated with inflammation will be red as the color, so you would use blue to counteract it. Blue is a cool color, it's a relaxing one, soothing. Uh, the yang energy will be, uh, the polarity of that would be yin energy. And that would be where yang is expansive, yin is attractive, it pulls in. Uh, you would also, of course, balance the heaviness with a lightness. Um, you want to be very careful not to overcompensate, though. You're trying to find a balance and maintain a harmony. With something that's inflamed, usually the body is swelling up in order to protect it. So you also want to have give it a little bit of brace or support. That's why it's very important, if you're going to do holistic healing for another person, that you always research and do as much knowledge as you can. You, you want to know exactly what it is that's bothering them and how to appropriately balancing it without harming them further. 
Uh, it's not bad to add Etheric Touch to if you're already practicing. It's not necessarily a good idea to just do it, just to do it. <laughs> so definitely do some more research. If you're already a holistic therapist, you can always add this. If you're a massage therapist, uh, something along those lines. Now, so what you're going to do is with Etheric Touch is once you find the area, you scan and get the idea for what's wrong of the imbalance. You are then going to lay your hand a few inches away, or if the person's comfortable, depending on the area, you can touch. If it's just like a wrist or an arm, sometimes people will be a little more comfortable with that. Um, you are then going to, like, let's say the wrist was sprained, and they're having trouble moving it. And when you scan it with your hand, you feel that, that it's tight, you feel that it's heavy feeling, and you feel like a sharpness or heat to it because of the inflammation that's going to come from spraining it. What you're then going to do is you'll take your hand over it and using the principle of all energy follows thought, you will then see in your mind clearly and vividly cool blue water flowing from your hand, coming from inside of you and just flowing along. And you then feel it entering through the pores and easing and soothing that tension. Once you feel that that has soothed it and you can kind of feel, just like when you're scanning, you can feel the heaviness, you'll start to feel it fade away. You're then going to want to kind of feel inside and almost stretch in your mind. Feel stretching and soothing. Stretching and soothing. Focus on the energy and the reaction you want. You will then begin to vibrate in that manner. And like a tuning fork, their body will start to vibrate in response. The object, like I said, is to get it back into balance. Follow your instincts. Do it just as long as you feel is needed to help correct that abnormality. This is the basic idea behind etheric touch. Now, of course, there's more that I might expand upon later, but hopefully this gives you a little more idea into the theology of mysticism and magic when it comes to healing. I'm Blaze Lee Dragon, and I hope you learned something.